you give me a hand, please? A little more to your left. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now you can return the favor. I'm doing an article on the top ten restaurants in Chicago. Now, would you make sure that these menus are au courant? Okay. <laughs> Look at these prices. I don't have to. I have a husband. <laughs> ten bucks for fried cheese. You can order the entree or buy an Isuzu. You know, most people cannot afford these prices. But why don't you write about good food at affordable prices? Oh, Hannah, Hannah, chicken pot pie in the sky, Hannah. I love chicken pot pie. Okay. So do I, Miller. You know what I love? When you break the crust open and the goo comes pouring out the side. Isn't it the best? Good idea, Miller. That's very interesting. Good food at affordable prices. Why don't you make a list of your favorite places? Maybe I'll put it in next month's issue. My, my first break? I'll have a byline? But, you know, I don't think we should put a picture with it. I think it's very pretentious. Miller! I'm talking about burying this in the tidbit section next to the Barker lounger end. I said maybe. I know, but it's still my first assignment. I won't let you down! You can't let me down, Miller. I have no expectations. <laughs> Marty! Shh! I know, I heard, but I'll tell you what, savor it, remember it, because even if you don't get to that tidbit section, this is the stuff your dreams are made of. Yours too? Uh, no. Uh, my dreams are usually made of huge vampire bats wearing Ray-Ban singing Kumbaya. <laughs> I just think it's so great. I can already think of seven or eight places that I can use in my article. Oh, eight is not enough, Hannah Miller. Trust me, Norman will be taking a long, hard look at the effort that you put into this story. I mean, your very future may well be determined by how much... Grease I suck for journalism. <laughs> Absolutely. Remember, there are no small stories, only small jockeys. Gold here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. It's my mother. Is it serious? Yeah. You mean she's... In the lobby. <laughs> oh, my God. Why is this happening to me? I thought I was safe when she moved to Florida. I bought a hundred trees in Israel. That wasn't enough. Just could be here in a second. Oh. What is that? Don't ask. You don't know my mother. That's right. You don't know my mother. You can still save yourself. Run. Hannah, run. From what? From that. Martella! Mama! Oh, oh, oh. Mwah! So handsome. Isn't he handsome? I miss the bangs. Don't do that with the hair, please. What are you doing in Chicago? Why? Who's the pretty one? Pamela Peyton Finch, senior writer. We've met before. You, I remember. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you, I want to know. I'm Dorothy Gold, Marty's mother. I'm Hannah Miller, Marty's friend. Ah. Uh, Norman! Ah, oh, good issue last month. I know, I got your memo. Yeah, so when is Marty going to get an office like yours? Huh? <laughs> I got to run, I got to board me. All I'll right. catch you later. All right, okay. Norman. Well, what are you doing here besides the obvious, huh? <gasps> well, I... Dorothy! Oh, hey, Joe! Oh, Joe! <laughs> oh, mm. such a gorgeous face. Lose Who's the, the beard? beard. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me tell you what I'm doing here. Why not? I'm here on business. You don't have a business. I do now. You like this poodle decanter I sent you? I like it. Uh -huh. I named it. Say hello to Timmy. Oh. <laughs> oh, you made it. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It's so aqua. <laughs> Marty. This is my business. I'm in town to wheel and deal at the gift show. Yeah. Oh, 
Let me show you my samples. Oh, Ma, we're all so busy here now, really. Oh, I understand. It doesn't matter. We'll talk about it over dinner. Ah! Oh. 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 What? What? I can't. I got this, like, emergency meeting in Cleveland tonight. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know about it. I know, it just came up. It's kind of like top secret. Kind oh. Of. Don't worry, Dorothy. You'll be my date tonight. Uh. We'll paint the town aqua. <laughs> it's a great idea. Okay, Mom, come on. Let me get you settled at my house, all right? So wonderful. Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> Stand up straight, huh? Good, good, good. <laughs> Come in. Marty? Yeah. As your new friend, I'm allowed to say anything to you, right? Right. You're scum. Thank you. Martin, you made up this entire story about Cleveland so that you could avoid being with your mother. And where are you really going? Barbados, Cancun, Aspen? Cleveland. Why? I can't lie to my mother. Marty, this is insane. I know. I should have said Barbados. At least I could have gotten a tan. Why is your couch turned this way? What is that horrible smell? And why are you dressed like Mr. Rogers? That's because Mother rearranged my furniture, she made her famous stuffed cabbage, and she knit this vest all before she went out with Julie. And that's only the B side of her greatest hits. Oh, fine, so she's got quirks. Every parent does, including my dad. Oh, you and Leo? I right, so what does he do to annoy you? Does he throw the paper out before you get a chance to read it? Yes. I hate that. Come on, Marty. I've been there. Trust me, Hannah. You haven't even received a postcard from there. I mean, we're talking full metal parent. I mean, a woman who doesn't have a life of her own. This is a person who actually thinks she's me, but believes she's better at it than I am. Marty, is this the kind of relationship you want to have with your mother? Of course not. But it's a condition of life. It's one of those things you got to put up with, like arthritis. Or Willard Scott. I like Willard Scott. Now, this problem is not going to go away in Cleveland. I'm not going to let you go. Bye, Hannah. No, Marty. I can stop you with one sentence. What, Cleveland's not open tonight? <laughs> don't make me say it. Hey, say whatever you want. I'm out of here. I don't even have a mother. Thank you, your high priestess of guilt. Are you staying? Yeah. Or at least until this stab wound heals in my back. Marty, come on. She's your mommy. I know. Uh... Just spend some time with her. Mm. Talk with her. Mm. Listen to her. Let her tell you about her business. Mm. Look, the only time we were ever alone together without fighting is when she was pregnant with me. <laughs> And even then, I came out screaming. <laughs> Look, I can't be alone with her. Okay, you don't have to be alone with her. I'll come over after work tomorrow, and we can have dinner. It'll be fine, really, trust me. Just the three of us. Excuse me. Excuse me. Anna, glad you can make it. Anything to keep you two from being alone. Come on, you had a great idea. You just weren't big, and big enough. Mom and I never got along so well. Third wave tonight. I swear, this is the perfect solution to our problems. No, Marty, this is the avoidance of all your problems. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Dorothy at four o'clock. Be right back. Marty! Not a word. This is a gift from Dorothy. Oh. You okay? Oh, sorry, yeah. Hey, chicken fried steak, hamburgers, french fries, and a side order of chili. Obviously with extra onions. I sucked grease three different diners tonight for my tidbit piece. I cannot believe Marty. He was supposed to spend a nice, quiet evening alone with Hannah La. Dorothea La. <laughs> I saw you admiring Julie's vest. Not to worry. <laughs> Huh? Oh. Oh. oh! I'm sure I'll get a lot of wear out of it. 
now oh, because I'm putting it on. Oh. Wonderful. It's going to look beautiful. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. My Marty is so popular. We haven't had a minute alone since I got here. Oh, he's just busy. Let's see if we can steal a minute of his oh. time. Hey, Marty! <laughs> oh, hey. Ma, I was working my way over. How you doing? Marty, Marty, this is the best party since your fifth birthday. When I dressed up as that clown you loved, you know, Bozo. Oh, not the story again. <laughs> Marty was so excited he tinkled in his pants. Bobby, hi. You're right there. Marty, I want to talk to you about my poodle business. Yes. Oh, my, I'd love to, but not now. Gotta mingle. Mingle, schmingle. He's avoiding me. Oh, no. Oh. He's crazy about you. He, he talks about you all the time. He's not even interested in my poodle business. What are you talking about? Dorothy, he shows Timmy to everybody at the office. Really? I mean, why do you think he's throwing this party? It's his version of a poodle wear party. <laughs> I won't let him down. Oh. Excuse me. My son's friends. Your attention, please. I know my beautiful boy has already told you about my business. And now you too can become the proud owners of Dorothy of Fort Lauderdale's Poodle Decanters. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Ma, please. Now, these striking poodles can add color and charm to any home and if properly placed can also be a deterrent to intruders come on you're embarrassing me embarrassing excuse me i'm sorry this is all my fault i think i may have over exaggerated marty's enthusiasm in your poodles just gonna get it so you don't care about what i'm doing right mom you're doing it in a room full of my friends Oh, I'm ruining your life by mixing a little business with pleasure? Pleasure? What pleasure? Marty, calm down. <sighs> I can't. It's the same old story. Look, I don't want to yell. I don't want to scream. I don't want to commit poodle side. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know. We're out of wine. I'm going to France. I could be out. <laughs> Sam started running, not marathons, but he is taking his health more seriously. And so am I. I buy more fruit and skip the cookie aisle, and I've switched from mayonnaise to Miracle Whip salad dressing. It has 36% less fat, 30% fewer calories than mayonnaise, even low cholesterol. Plus, Miracle Whip has that tangy zip, and Sam takes that seriously, too. Make a change for the better to Miracle Whip. We're broke. It's the perm. Cost 60 bucks on a fat tip. Could I trust this look to anything but Permasoft? Nah. Anything else is unthinkable. Unthinkable. Coming to video stores everywhere, Tom Cruise in the video event you've been waiting for. Cocktail. Rented on April 18th. Taking charge, for taking pride, for showing what you got inside, for taking time, for staying true, for stepping in, for coming through, this buzz for you. Beachwood aged with a taste so crisp and clean, so refreshing, it's the king of beers. This bud, this bud, this bud's for you. You know, when I was a kid, my dad used to read me the most wonderful stories. And give your child the gift that lasts a lifetime. And read together and share the joy. Thursday, what would you do if your mom wanted to be a star? Diane Cannon, Rock and Roll Mom, a two-hour family classic special. Sunday. We're not taking this case. Like we're not going to really take the case. Sunday was never so much fun. Ah! Say that. An all-new Moonlighting. <laughs> then it's the perfect vacation getaway on the most surprising ride of your life. Oscar winner Michael Douglas, Kathleen Turner, and Danny DeVito romancing the stone Sunday. Where are you?
you going? What are you doing? I'm moving Marty's couch back the way it was. Big mistake. He's got no flow in this room. Besides, he paid for the view. He should view it. But he likes it this way. Anyway, you didn't answer my question. Where are you going? Florida. Oh, you're running away. Who's running away? I'm going home. Look, what happened tonight is entirely my fault. I'm sorry. What happened tonight is just another chapter in the long movie of my life with Marty. So, it's back to the sunshine state for Dorothy. Oh, you know what's amazing is you guys are exactly alike. Don't tell me that. We are nothing alike. He's just like his father. He doesn't listen to me. He doesn't pay attention to me. He doesn't think I'm a person. We're better off apart. I'm going home. Thank you for buying two dozen of my Puru decanters. Dorothy, I don't want to do this. I really don't. But you have left me no choice. I can stop you with one sentence. Go ahead and try. I don't even have a mother. Neither do I. <laughs> Drink. You'll feel better. Oh, Julie. Never, never, never eat breakfast at Milt's Meatloaf Palace. <laughs> Trust me, dear. This kind of professionalism will pay off. Noah, how's the good food cheap prices piece going? Uh, excuse me, sir. Here it is. And I'm sure that this moment is well worth all of the indigestion I'm experiencing now. So this one here, this is your favorite joint? Yes, sir. Edna Mays, Grits and Bits. Now, I know there's a case to be made for Wally's Chop House, but this is my decision. I cannot be swayed. I wouldn't dream of trying. All right, we'll go with it. This is what I'll print. Edna Mays, Grits and Bits. Good food, affordable prices. That's it? That's all you're going to use? Sir, I must have gone to 20 places. The hell ever possessed you to do that? <laughs> First rule of journalism, all's fair in love and words. One day you'll thank me for it. You know, on second thought, Miller, I appreciate your effort. So I'm gonna box this one and put it in the feature section. Uh, Finch, you're gonna have to cut a paragraph from your piece to make way for Miller. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no lectures, no advice, not a word about Dorothy. It's okay. I'm out of the advice business. You guys are nuts. I give up. I told you she's impossible. Oh, no, you're both impossible, but not another word. I'm washing my hands of the entire sordid affair. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, I can't stand it. You both are such wonderful people. You love each other, you just don't listen to each other. Is it safe to assume that you're back in the advice business? Full tilt. Look at Marty. I know it ended badly with your mom this time. I have one more idea. Give it one shot. If it doesn't work, I'll quit. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm here. Okay. Here's the plan. Marty, Dorothy, sit down, talk, love each other. Marty, what are you doing here? I have no idea. Hannah said we're going for a drive. Next thing I know, I see signs for Dollywood. That's because you're afraid to fly. And thanks to you, and now I'm afraid to drive. You know, we're going so fast, I'm actually younger now than when we left. Can somebody tell me what this is about? I'm going to let Marty tell you what it's about when you guys talk. No, I'm not. I've got to stay here. What is this? Oh. That's Marty Wood. <laughs> That's the Marty Gold story, right from the beginning. This is Marty when he was two. Is that a tuchus you could take a bite out of, or what? I thought I'd put pants on that. Oh, butt out. And this is Marty in his Roy Rogers period. That's when they took me to fake land. That was when he still loved his mother. He still loves his mother, and his mother loves him. I'm going to leave you two alone, and I want you guys to settle this once and for all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've heard that the Yankees are in town training, and I'm going to go see if I can land me a relief pitcher. <laughs> Wear a hat. You look sensational. 
I'll see you on Golden Palm with the rest of the loons. <laughs> Talk. <sighs> so, we're, uh, we're here, mm-hmm. huh? So, I'm Marty... not hungry. Fine. So... I'm not gonna marry Hannah. Fine. I didn't say you were. I was just gonna say, if you're gonna talk, I'm gonna work. I gotta ship a hundred of these by Thursday. A hundred? Mm-hmm. God, you have quite an operation here. God, it's sort of like Amway meets Felix the Cat. <laughs> I shipped 200 units last month. That's great. Mm-hmm. How did all this happen? Oh, I have Miriam Hirsch to thank. What did she do? She dropped dead. <laughs> Sweet Mrs. Hirsch, she died? Right where you're sitting. Kidding? That's the Mrs. Hirsch I used to love who made those great chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, that was Adele Bloom. Was? That chair. <laughs> Florida. You move here, you play gin, you die. But not me. God, this is just horrible news. How come you didn't tell me? Would you have listened? I tried to tell you about my poodle business in Chicago. I know. Oh, so, Ma, what is it with us, huh? I don't know, Martela. Ma. Why? Ah. <laughs> Look, you see? See that boy on the fake horse? He has bangs. Even the horse has bangs. I don't have bangs anymore. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. <laughs> when I'm here with my poodles, I'm Dorothy of Fort Lauderdale. I get around you, I'm Marty's mother. You think it's easy to change? Marty, I'm trying. And I haven't been listening, right? Look, I'm sorry I didn't let you tell me this in Chicago, really. I'm sorry I embarrassed you at your party. Well, hey, you know, maybe it's time for us to stop being Martela and Mamala and just be us. Couldn't we at least be Ursula? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Look, you gotta do a hundred of these by Thursday, mm-hmm. right? You need some help. Come on. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. You can put the eyes on. All right. Now, here are your box of eyes and here are your decanters. Okay. This looks like fun. Uh-huh. See, I think I'll go with this first. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I'm pretty oh, good. But hey, hey, don't put the eyes so close together or they start to look like Nixon. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm glad it went so well with your mom. I am too. Oh, I'm hungry. And I've got to go to the bathroom. Well, can you wait till we get to Chicago? Where are we now? Tennessee. Sure. What's another ten minutes? Professional models demanded CoverGirl Professional Mascara. The curved brush colors every lash. The professional formula lasts without smudging. what's consumed in the name of lunch. Call meatloaf. Might I suggest a proper hot lunch with lunch bucket lasagna. Mmm, sounds good. Lunch buckets cook up in seconds. And lunch bucket meals come in 15 delectable varieties. Mm, Taste divine. What could be better? Mm -hmm. Perhaps beef stew by candle lunch. Lunch bucket meals, a proper hot lunch. of a normal 14-year-old. This is the brain activity of a 14-year-old after smoking marijuana. 
If you use pot, you're not using your brain. This is your novel. Yeah, you wrote like a, a novel? Yes. It's a love story. First date. <laughs> gone bad. Rebecca! On 30 something, next. Friday. A touch of romance. Ooh, wow. Perfect strangers. Then. Love is here. Love is there. I am going to be Mr. Romance. That name's taken already. Full house. Act. Do you two know each other? Yes, we're cousins. Looks like the family only comes in two sizes. Mr. Belvedere. Then. Where's Wendy been? Spreading false tales is as bad as creating them. Well, it's our daughter's tales I'm worried about. Just the ten of us. Friday. This is Joan London. And Charles Gibson. He's headed back to primetime TV. Tomorrow, Robert Guillaume joins us. Then later in the week, Michael Keaton on his new role as Batman. And Phoebe Snow on Good Morning America. Tomorrow, following Coach, the sessions begin. Laughter is the best medicine on the premiere of The Robert Guillaume Show. Through free computer programs, thousands of Georgia school children learned about weather forecasting the fun way. Thanks to the International House of Pancakes, Georgia Power, Martin Mazda Isuzu, and Channel 2's Glenn Burns. Just another reason. An ABC News brief. Now from Washington, Carol Simpson. Good evening. Richard M. Daly has been projected as the winner by a wide margin in Chicago's mayoral election. Soviet President Gorbachev and Cuba's Fidel Castro signed an agreement in Havana today that says regional conflict should be solved without the use of force. The last remaining oil has been pumped off the tanker that caused Alaska's major oil spill. Later on Nightline, spying on your friends. 94Q, Atlanta's hit music. 94Q, with 10 hits in a row, every hour, all day. Atlanta, here's the hits on 94Q. 94Q. Listen at work and double your salary. 94Q. Turn it on now. Topping Supreme Pizza from Pizza Hut. Get one medium for $8.99 or two for just $4 more. The tornadoes caused severe damage in Georgia. Live team coverage at 11. something brought to you by the heartbeat of america today's chevrolet who invites you to experience the 89 chevrolets and listen to your heartbeat listen to the heartbeat of america Chevy Cavalier. With all the fun it gives you, it just could be one of the best bargains you've ever driven. Ooh, the heartbeat of America. That's the Chevrolet. I like the way you make me laugh. <laughs> 
like the funny things you do yeah, You got a style that's all your own I like the sprite in you You make me wanna smile You know you make me sparkle too You're such a kick to have around Sprite, the only one with Lyman The unexpected twist that makes us different I like the, I like the sprite in you Oh, Geraldo's the best thing about being unemployed, man. Today he's doing new transvestites. Uh, hey, Scooter. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what you got? No, no, Elliot. No, no, Mike. Ooh, come man, on, Elliot. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Love letters. Type love letters. Mike, you're such a perfectionist yeah. here. Oh, the girl with the Kool-Aid soul. Wasn't Sika in there? This is your novel. Yeah, You wrote okay. a novel? Yes, I did. Come you on. Let's play ball now. The unemployed oh, against the untenured. Really? You wrote a novel? Yes, I did, Elliot. Let's go now. No, no, no. Come First, I want to raid the larder for cookies with lots of preservatives. I remember I remember the time when you were writing this thing. You were drinking too much coffee, smoking jetans. You were so dark and moody, you couldn't reflect light. <laughs> that was fun. That's great. So whatever happened with that workshop with Ivy Dunbar? Are, are, uh, yeah, I'm looking for work now. So. Yeah, but you should take that. Yeah, yeah you should. Yeah, so, huh? It'd be good for you. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. Because I'm doing it. The workshop? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, that's yeah. great, I man. start Wednesday nights. So. Yeah. You weren't going to tell anyone, were you? That's not a big deal. Hey, Mike, just, yeah. what's the half-life on this marshmallow fluff? Mm. Do that thing. What thing? That thing that you do with your tongue. Oh, not you. No, come on, come on. Do that popcorn <sighs> lizard thing that you do. <laughs> come, do it. <laughs> 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 I love that. <laughs> now, I'd like to know what you did for entertainment before I came along. Well, <clears throat> I sharpened pencils. Mm -hmm. I straightened paper clips, that sort of thing. Something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. I just got another rejection for my book today. Oh, those publishers don't know what they're missing. No, no, I think they know exactly what they're missing. I keep getting all the same comments. How can they not like those pictures? No, they like the pictures. They, they just think something's wrong with the story. What are you going to do? Hire a writer to fix a story? No. Huh? You know, I don't feel like mine anymore. So what? You're going to work on it until you get it right. I just hope you don't think that's going to change anything. Like what? Ethan's not going to love you any less if your book doesn't get published. <laughs> Nobody's going to love you any less. Oh, this is great, man. You'll write some big Stephen King novel with all the italics. And I'll be bucking cases of soda. It's not a picking. <laughs>